Hi, warm welcome to you. In the last video, we have seen binomial theorem with respect to the general term and we have also expanded using a simple example. In this video, we will look at how to find out a middle term for a binomial expansion. So, let us say that, let us say that something like, okay, let us just take some simple example. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me first do it for a plus b whole to the power of n is nothing but whatever we have written. I can also give it as sigma r equal to 0 to n. This is nothing but n c r a to the power of n minus r b to the power of r. Make sense? If you just put n r equal to 0, n c 0 a to the power of n, b to the power of 0. If it is n c 1, n c 1, n minus 1, b 1, right? Okay, right. Now, how to find out the middle term? Depends upon two things, whether what is the value of n. If n is even, we will have one set of value. If it is n is odd, we will have another set of value. Let us start from fundamentals and see how that behavior is. Let us say that a plus b whole square, right? We know this pretty much a square plus 2ab plus b square. <coughs> Excuse me. Similarly, suppose you take a plus b whole cube. You know that you will have four terms. There is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Now, see here if n is 2 we have already seen that we will be having ter three terms. So, if I have three terms, the middle term is very clear. The middle term is this term. So, if n is even, what is the condition here? If n is even, there are three terms and I am picking the, I am, I am picking the second term, right? So, what is the formula for that? So, can I say n by 2 plus 1? Let us see whether this works out for generic or not. That is the formula we have found. Let us say if it is 4 a plus b whole to the power of 4, then 4 means 5 terms will be there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Middle term is 2 this side, 2 that side, 3 is middle. If you apply in the formula 4 by 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, we are fine. Let us keep it for even there. Now, let us check for odd odd what uh, what should i do F odd n is 3 there are four terms there are four terms so if i start from here and here i am left with two terms so there will be always two terms here what will be those terms those terms will be n plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 3 by 2 let's check that n equal to 3, 3 plus 1 by 2, 2, 3 plus 3 by 2. If you are not comfortable here, there is another way of remembering it, simple n plus 2 by 2. That way, it is easy for you to remember all the 3. n plus 1 and n plus 3 for odd and the in between one, n plus 2 by 2 is for even. So, that is it, simple, very, very simple, right? If n is even, n plus 2 whole by 2 will give me the middle term. If n is odd, then n plus 1 whole by 2, n plus 3 whole by 2 will give him be the right. So, let us go ahead and uh, do some examples based on that. Okay. So, I will just keep this whatever is needed. Remaining all let me erase. Erase. Okay. Ready for some examples. Let us take a simple example. We will do two examples one where we have even and one where we have odd. Let us take this example. So, my first example is the binomial is x plus sorry x by 3 plus 9y whole to the power of 10. You need to find out the middle term. Now, what is value of n here? 10. 10 means how many terms will be there? 11 terms will be there. So, common sense we know that automatically 6th term is the middle term. 
but you don't want to follow that say simply 10 plus 2 by 2 that's a formula we have found here that is nothing but equal to 6 so what is sixth term right this is nothing but the sixth term right okay now what is sixth term t of 5 plus 1 that's how i will write it because to find out my r this is nothing but n c r that is 10 c and r is 5 then x by 3 whole to the power of n minus r or a to the power of n minus r that is 10 minus 5 into b b is nothing but 9 y whole to the power of r r is nothing but equal to 5 right let me erase this i will write it afterwards okay let us check this now this is equal to 10 c 5 let me put all coefficients at one place this becomes 1 by 3 whole to the power of 5 into 9 to the power of 5 into x to the power of 5 into y to the power of 5 now i2 now i need to simplify this 10 c 5 into 1 by 3 whole to the power of 5 so let me do that i will say 10 c 5 into i can say 9 to the power of 5 as 3 to the power of 10 because 3 square is 9 2 fives are 10 divided by 3 to the power of 5 into x to the power of 5 into y to the power of 5 let us simplify this 10 c 5 becomes 10 factorial by 5 factorial into 5 factorial that's nothing but 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into factorial 5 divided by factorial 5 into 120 so this is just numerical stuff you can do it directly in calculator i am just doing it for you here 120 so i can say that this is 6 36 for me so let us see what it will be so 10 into 9 into 8 720 6 times so this is nothing but equal to 6 into 6 into 7 i am just simplifying nothing else 252 this whole simplification 120 will go 6 times 6 into 6 into 7 is 252 you can check that in calculator and you are left here with 1 3 to the power of 5 and 3 to the power of 5 is 243 i don't need i don't want to do this much calculations it should be simple i don't know anyway you can use the calculator and check that out let me try this one out that should be approximately okay 61,236 x to the power of 5 and y to the power of 5 you can check this in calculator it should come down to here this is fine this is when n is even right middle term even 10 is the n number of terms is 11 11th term means automatically we know by logic it's 5 this side 5 that side 6 is the middle but don't want to go with the logic this is the formula 10 plus 2 by 2 that's a 6 term if r plus 1 is 6 r equal to 5 so we substituted that and we found it now let's do another example let me just erase this i think you are pretty fine with that let us do another example where it is odd so that we can check both the scenarios let's take an example where it is odd and what is the formula for what is the formula for what is the, what are the middle terms for odd it is it is n plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 3 by 2 okay ready here we go let's take this example 3 minus x cube by 6 whole to the power of 7 this is what i have to simplify now i have to find out the middle term for this now what is n n is 7 
that means there are eight terms so i know it's 4 and 5 but we will check that using the formula 7 plus 1 by 2 comma 7 plus 3 by 2 two two middle terms that is 4 comma 5 so we will find out t of r plus 1 that is t of 3 plus 1 here and we will find out t of r plus 1 is equal to t of 4 plus 1 here ok now come here r is 3 so this becomes 7 c 3 plus 1 by 2 3 to the power of you can see here n minus r that is 4 into minus x cube by 6 whole to the power of 3 let us simplify this 7 c 3 into 3 to the power of 4 by minus 1 cube will become minus so I will put a minus there 6 cube I can write it as 3 cube into 2 cube just simplifying nothing else and this is nothing but x to the power of 9 3 3 is are 9 now we need to simplify this we will simplify that let us do it here this simplification part uh, what I need is 3 power 4 will go for 3 3 minus 3 by 8 into 7 c 3 7 c 3 is 7 factorial by 4 factorial into 3 factorial that is nothing but 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 3 factorial is 6 so I can cancel this 6 6 cancels this whole thing goes to 35 35 into 3 so I will say minus 105 this numerical part you can do I mean it is very pretty simple we are more interested in finding out the middle term this is fine ok that is about uh, the first middle term let us look at what is the value of the second middle term to find out the value of second middle term r equal to 4 here so this becomes a 7 c 4 3 cube into x cube by 6 whole to the power of 4 this is nothing but 7 c 4 into 3 cube by can I say it as 3 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 4 into x to the power of 12 that is nothing but equal to x to the power of 12 is fixed I need to simplify this 7 c 4 we did 7 c 3 or uh, what we got we got 35 right it will be the same because 7 c 4 and 7 c 3 are the same so this is 3 times so 35 by 48 into x to the power of 12 that is another middle term what I am saying is 7 c 4 you can check that how it is you can check this 7 c 4 equal to 7 c 3 and we found 7 c 3 as 35 earlier so I have just substituted that ok that is about finding the middle terms so in the next video we will see how to find out quotient of 1 x to the power of n and also a term independent of x both the examples we will see in the next video thanks for visiting Bye for now.